to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I believe by the authority of Scripture and the witness of the Spirit that this is one night that we may not forget in a hurry in the name of Jesus Christ because the Bible says whatsoever name Adam called it that was the name thereof we have called it a conference that would bring encounters and encounters we will experience in Jesus name it is important for us to understand why we are here and understanding will be seated shortly but just just listen as you stand understanding is very important in this kingdom your testimony your joy is based on understanding please give us Nehemiah 8 I believe is verse 12 Nehemiah 8 and verse 12 will be seated just to look at that scripture Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 12 maybe I'll ask you to say please sit just sit just say thank you Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 12 can we have it projected Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 12 Please read with me. One to read. And the people went their way to eat and to drink and to send portions and to make great mirth. Why? Because they understood the words that were declared unto them. Their celebration was based on the confidence they had from understanding. They went to eat. They went to drink, they sent portions, they went to make merry because they understood the words that were declared unto them. Hallelujah. Tonight, very briefly, I'm teaching on encounter with power. Encounter with power. I'll teach for a few minutes and then we'll pray. I, I really sense that there especially are people who have struggled with all kinds of bodily limitations, sicknesses and infirmities. The healer already prophesied that it is in this room. And we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that not one person will leave this place disappointed. In the name of Jesus Christ. First Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20. We have been called into a life of power we have been called into a life of power christianity is a faith walk of power it is important that you understand the power dimension of the christian faith first corinthians 4 and verse 20 please first corinthians 4 and verse 20 the Bible says, for the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. The manifestation of the kingdom has a power component to it. You have to understand that the faith walk is a walk of power. Most believers know that there is such a phenomenon as the power of God, but not many people have paid particular interest to understand the importance and the necessity of power in the life of a believer it took power for the word to become flesh 
and to be made manifest in the womb of a woman it took power for him to walk in a territory that did not pay attention to the counsel of God it took power for him to minister all through his manifestations on earth the miracles the signs and the wonders everything happened on account of the power of the Holy Ghost the Bible says at age 30 Jesus now having been baptized by John the Bible says the heavens were opened and the Holy Ghost came upon him in the similitude of a dove and then he departed to the wilderness after 40 days and 40 nights of prayer with fasting tempted of the devil the Bible says he returned in the power of the Holy Spirit not just full of the Spirit he returned in the power of the Holy Spirit all of the miracles that happen in the Bible especially in the life of Jesus were products of the manifestations of his power from the multiplication of bread and fish the raising of the dead the healing of the sick casting out demons and all kinds of miraculous manifestations like we considered yesterday calming the storm they said what manner of man is this that even the wind and the waves obey him hallelujah praise the lord one time the centurion's daughter died she was sick unto death and the centurion beckoned on jesus or Jesus said, let us go to your house. And the centurion said, no. I understand a bit about power and authority. For I am also a man under authority. And on the strength of the authority, I can tell one, go, and he will go. I can tell another, come, and he will come. So you too, Jesus, I know that you are not just a benevolent savior. You are under authority. There is power that you can exert. Speak the word only. And Jesus said, who taught you? I have not found this faith no not in israel it took power for that dead body of jesus christ to come back to life on the third day the bible lets us know that there was a contention in psalm 24 when jesus was about to get back to the earth realm there was a cry lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors that the king of glory may come in and the gate spoke they said who is this king of glory because the law is that when you exit this realm someone from this realm has to call you back you can't return on your own so who is calling this one back now nobody on earth was calling him back yet he wanted to return and here was the reply he said he is the king of glory the lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle what battle the defeat of Satan and to collect the keys that Adam gave man and triumphantly he rose again and when he rose again he said all hail mm. all authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me go with that consciousness that this assignment is an assignment that will require power and I have supplied that power in Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 the Bible says when the day of Pentecost was fully come until that time he had spent time teaching them he sent them two by two seven by seven they went and they, they had all kinds of marvelous testimonies and they said even the demons fled at the word at their presence and jesus said do not rejoice over this rejoice that your names are written in heaven he told them tarry ye in jerusalem until ye be endued with power and on that glorious morning the bible says they were together in one accord the faith life what you call christianity was about to be birthed it did not just come by a sermon it was power that introduced the life that you call today the faith life the bible says suddenly there was a sound of a mighty rushing wind it came and it filled that room and they saw what looked like cloven tongues and it sat on every one of them they were filled with the holy spirit 
they prayed in other tongues and that was the beginning of a life of exploits one time peter was passing at the hour of prayer and he saw a man who had been lame there and the man beckoned on them expecting to receive something and he said silver and gold i do not have but there is what i have i know what i have in the name of jesus rise up and walk and the bible says the man just stood there watching and peter held his hand and lifted him and he leaping stood it takes power to excel in life it takes power to ward off the forces of darkness that continue to contend against your life and my life and the purposes of god the faith life is a life of power first corinthians chapter 2 from verse 4 to 5 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 4 to 5 Paul is speaking now and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in the demonstration of the spirit and of power why verse 5 that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 61, the Messianic prophecy, we we'll read the first seven verses. It says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For or because the Lord had anointed me. The word anoint means to legitimize my operation. He had anointed me to preach. It takes the anointing, the power of God to preach good tidings to the meek. It takes more than a good sermon to preach good tidings to the poor or the meek. It takes the power of God. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of prison to them that are bound. Verse 2, it says to proclaim the year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes please say amen, amen. the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness it says that they might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified verse 4 says and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. Verse 5. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. And the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and vine dressers. Verse 6 says, but ye shall be named the priests of God. Men shall call you ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. The last verse for your shame my goodness this is a word for someone tonight that for your shame by the anointing this night you shall receive double and for confusion it says they shall rejoice in their portion therefore in their land they shall possess double everlasting joy shall be unto them please sit down physics defines energy as power that is expended within time that that it is possible please look up that it is possible to to expand power is defined as energy that is with respect to time there is an ability that is released in time we call it power it is truly the definition of power there is an ability of the spirit please look up everybody there is an ability of the spirit that can function in time to turn lives around to squeeze situations that are not consistent with the word of god until they exit your destiny and to introduce to your life the things that reflect what the word of god says should be in your life it takes the power of the holy ghost if i want to lift this this beautiful 
um, pulpit here if I want to lift it I may attempt to lift it but there is a requisite level of energy a requisite level of power to be able to lift this the the power that is applied must be the greater than the power keeping this down is that true I can apply this effort this f this energy but if it is not strong enough to overcome what is keeping it down it will remain down there are we together now psalm 66 verse 3 says say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves not through your power through the greatness of it through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you i made up my mind and i cried to god when he was calling and sending me to ministry i said lord do not just send me with a message it will take more than a message to deliver the captives it will take more than just a sermon to to set age-long captivities and bring every negative thing to the obedience of christ in addition to the teachings in addition to the messages may i have the privilege of being a host of your power are we together encounter with power the bible talks about jesus christ who for 30 years even though he was the word but without the power of heaven resting upon that word he seemed powerless for 30 years he could not do any miracle there was no record of any sign and any wonder for 30 years until the holy ghost came and when the holy ghost came with that holy ghost came power acts chapter 1 and verse 8 but ye shall receive ye shall receive anything the bible says to receive can be rejected many have rejected power ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and that power will make you witnesses you may have heard me teach that a witness is a validator of a claim you do not need a witness until there is contention when you go to the law court you only need a witness if someone tries to negate the point you are presenting then the judge will ask you to bring your witness the assignment of the witness is to confirm the truthfulness of what you are saying and usually that witness will be asked to present a token of truthfulness called an evidence we were not there when jesus died physically we were not there when he walked upon the earth we were not there when he defeated satan we were not there when he ascended to heaven and yet he says we must be his witnesses what then becomes the evidence how do we tell the world that though we were not there we are not lying it takes the power of the holy spirit this is the evidence given to the believer please pay attention you cannot be an effective witness without power the gates will ask you pharaoh will ask you who sent you don't stand before pharaoh and advocate the exodus of god's people pharaoh will ask you who sent you are we together if it is true that jesus is alive if it is true that he died he defeated hell he defeated sin he defeated satan he defeated the grave and today he reigns in victory like we sing and so boldly propose there must be an evidence a token of truthfulness if it is true that he's alive over sickness if it is true that he's alive over over principalities and powers let me tell you this our christianity will only remain opinions if we do not back it up with the requisite level of power the the world that we live in today is a very proud world the bible says the greeks seek for a sign when you say god lives they will tell you i have heard i want to see when you say god blesses they will tell you i have heard but i want to see acts chapter 8 please let me show you how the gospel was supposed to be communicated 
Acts chapter 8. We'll start from verse 5. The Bible says, And Philip went down to the city of Samaria. Please look up. And preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed to those things which Philip spake. Please read the remaining part with me. Hearing it was never designed to stop at the realm of hearing alone. Hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Next verse. It says, for unclean spirits, this is what they saw, cried him with a loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies that were lame were healed. As a result, and there was great joy in house on the rock, the refuge. <laughs> the manifestation of the kingdom of God in signs and wonders and miracles now you may have heard me say this that the reason why we seek and love and passionately pursue the things of God is not because of the things that we get we love him beyond things are we in agreement we love him beyond miracles beyond signs beyond wonders however in his benevolence in fact according to the teachings of Jesus the proof of fatherhood is the ease to release it says, if you being evil, know how to give good gifts. That means as evil as you are, there is still a component of fatherhood. Did you know that many terrorists have families? And as dangerous and evil as they are, they still have compassion to take care of their children. He said, if you being evil, know how to give good gifts, how much more will your heavenly father? I believe in the power of God. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs. I believe in wonders. One genuine manifestation of the power of God can preach a thousand messages at once. Believe me when I tell you this. The woman at the well, when she had an encounter with Jesus, listen carefully, she had an encounter with Jesus and we began to prophetically open her up to her life and her destiny, letting her see the state of her life. The Bible says she discerned that he was a prophet and then they began their discourse and ended with the subject of worship. The Bible says she left that business there of fetching water and she ran to the city. Everyone who encountered Jesus and his power was too grateful to keep quiet. The system of evangelism and advancing the gospel as it is today is too slow. If we want to win souls per one, per discussion, per argument, it would take us a thousand years before we reach the 7.6 billion people there about. But one manifestation of the power of God. That woman ran and said, come see a man who had told me everything. And they came and they encountered Jesus and their lives changed how about the madman in Gadara one single manifestation of the power of God brought ten cities to Jesus could it be that many of our family members have not been convinced to be so passionate about the things of the kingdom because we have proposed so many things about God without the requisite level of power to prove that reality The assignment of power is to prove to creation that God's word is not a lie. Power has an assignment to prove that the word of God is not a lie. If the power of God is absent in the life of a believer, no matter what it is that you propose, sooner or later, people will burn it in their minds that this is just theory we were not anointed to present a theoretical jesus the reality of the faith life can be proven here and now jesus came as a manifestation of the love of the father so that everything god said in scripture jesus acted it out if the bible said god is love jesus demonstrated that love as he healed the sick as he opened doors for people and that is the kind of ministry we have been given someone shout power, power. let the devil hear you power. it takes power to heal the sick 
it takes more than compassion it takes power to declare over destinies and shift that atmosphere I came here tonight with a strong burden in my heart hoping and trusting that we truly will encounter the power of God three things will happen tonight number one the first thing that I trust that would happen is that we are going to allow the power of God find expression to roll away burdens roll away shame and reproach and everything that has defied the name of the Lord number two more than being a witness to the power of God flowing through a man I am praying that tonight you will become that vessel that will host such levels of spiritual power that you will leave this place and for the remaining part of the conference building upon what happens tonight that by the end of this conference you will stand truly and know that you are ready to be a witness that when people come to you they will not only hear they will both hear and see listen the goodness and the love of God was not just to be believed you can taste and see that the Lord is good you can taste and see that the Lord is good I've had the honor and the privilege of talking with so many people by reason of the privilege of this call and sir I am amazed at the kinds of trouble the kinds of situations that you see people go through while they smile you cannot imagine the kind of situation medical reports that are death sentences financial situations demonic situations all kinds of troubles and most times believers just box this in hope that one day God will step in can I tell you my Bible says there remained a rest for the people of God even though they are the people of God there is a rest they have refused to enter it says today if you hear his voice do not harden your heart like they did that means they were given a chance to enter that rest but through unbelief they could not enter that rest it says to labor so that we'll enter that rest are we blessed yes encounter with the power of god you need the power of god in your life in the name of jesus and you see when we talk about the power of god the power of god is literally god's ability to produce his dimension of results in a man the power of God is God's ability, not his kind of ability. The very ability of God working in a man to produce results that only God can produce. Can I tell you this? There are certain results in this earth realm that men unassisted cannot produce. If it is the Lord's doing, the Bible says, it is marvelous. There is a way you can do business that people know that this is just intellectual argument. This is, this is just a human being stretching his creativity. There is a way you can do ministry. There is a way you can live your life. But when that engracing of the spirit comes upon you, like we discussed in the morning, your life becomes supernatural by every standard. How in the world do you look at a sick person someone who has been diagnosed for 10 years say and with one word in the name of jesus be healed and that person will check and the pain is gone no it takes more than intelligent communication behind those words there is the power of god the power of god the power of god ladies and gentlemen i introduce you tonight to the power of God to not only heal the power of God to not only save can I tell you this the power of God is akin to light I shared this while we were having service if a room is left dark for 20 years if a room is left dark for 10 years 
if a room is left dark for one week if a room is left dark for one hour how long does it take when you switch on the light for the room to be illuminated does it matter that the room has been dark for 20 years this is how the power of god works it doesn't matter how long the challenge has been there the light will not respect the longevity of the darkness at the instance the light comes the darkness goes so do not be surprised that in a moment you will find out that the debts that would have taken five years for you to pay that whilst you are in service god is already moving by his power please sit down let me tell you three three very important information about the power of god number one the power of god is creative the power of god creates to create means to make a reality that did not exist to appear the power of god is creative it can create even god who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were that means it is possible for me to have and to carry something now that does not exist around my life the power of god is creative number two the power of god is corrective it can correct any anomaly my goodness that when the power of god comes you see please look up the power of god functions like medicine like a drug if say for instance a gentleman is suffering from say malaria or headache or whatever it is does he put the drug on his head does he put the drug on his leg maybe not necessarily he will swallow that drug he does not have to tell the drug where to go to you just swallow it designed in the drug the drug knows where to go and correct that problem is that true now watch this when you swallow that drug you keep looking where you will know what the drug is doing by the correction that begins to happen that's how the word of god functions when it is introduced to your life your family your destiny you just leave the power of god it will go around your life checking for what part of your life is not like the garden of eden listen to me and it does not stop until it corrects so when the power of god comes to your life it can literally turn your life to the direction that is right the power of god does not just create it can correct apostle i have a medical report here that i have a situation that cannot be corrected medically let the power of god do that job it can correct are we together when you understand the creative dimension of the word of god it will conquer fear and doubt because for most people because we we are accustomed to the scientific realm the physical realm the question like mary is how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man it was a legitimate question the angel's answer is my answer to you the power of the highest shall overshadow you so i'm seated right here with a health condition apostle are you saying in a moment that that medical report that blood condition will leave question please look at me the bible says even the old earth and the old heaven will pass away what is in your body that cannot pass away if the earth itself can pass away hallelujah i am i am a recipient of the power of god not just a custodian of it i have been i have been blessed i know what the power of god can do in the life of an individual please hear me whenever you find out that there is a mountain that stands before you and you've exhausted everything you know to do I want you to step back and allow the power of God the power of God 
is able to create the power of God is able to correct apostle where will this breakthrough come from as I'm seated here now I wish I knew who would help me don't worry the Word of God has that assignment it is able to bring that possibility into your life please I want you to believe everything that I'm saying because that is what will happen to you shortly hallelujah and you see the thing about the power of God is that you do not have to debate the presence or the absence of it the evidences will be clear whether it is there or not as simple and as honest as that it is impossible to be too hungry and not know it is impossible to be too full and not know it is impossible to be heavily pregnant and not know under normal circumstances anything you have in a lavish dimension you must know many of you have been anointed but it's like you are not anointed god wants to step you to a level where even demons and devils will know that an engracing from heaven has come upon your life tonight if you're in agreement with me say amen, amen. power to change situations power to provide supernatural solutions to the needs of men the power of God is not just limited to healings and deliverances you must understand this the power of God also engraces you to provide all kinds of supernatural solutions the third thing about the power of God that I want you to know is that the power of God brings ease to the life of a man believe me the power of God brings ease to the life of a man one time I don't know what led me to that 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 channel that page on the on the internet on YouTube I was watching and I was watching how these metals crush and recycle cars so they just throw something and the metal will crush it but then they threw one metal that was made of steel and the machine just stopped it couldn't crush it couldn't crush it and I said wow I'm learning something here then they took it to a bigger machine and as soon as they dropped it there he squeezed that metal like orange I said that's it so the possibilities in our lives are not just based on the love of God the possibilities in our lives are based on the kind and the dimension of power that is at work in you are we together now let me tell you very quickly how the power of God works and then we begin to pray the power of God works like money I like to use money for an example because I have learned by experience that people really understand it when you use money <laughs> hallelujah so if I have say a thousand naira I have money a thousand naira may be able to buy this why because this is still within the range of that price but a thousand naira may not be able to buy a vehicle are we together now so if the challenge in front of me is to buy water I am safe because a thousand naira can attend to that need but if the challenge is now to buy a vehicle I will need to have multiples of what I am holding so he says grace and peace be multiplied because listen carefully there are challenges that you may confront that the level of power you carry may not be able to solve this is a very powerful teaching listen do you know as a man of God I can have someone say having headache whatever pain a financial problem whatever demonic oppression and in the name of Jesus I can pray for that person can I be honest with you the only problems in that man's life that will be solved through that prayer and that ministration would be the problems that are under the kind of grace I carry so it is possible that out of the ten challenges he has only two will be solved he may fall down as usual and stand up but only two because that is on the spiritual currency that is how far I could go in helping him now you will understand Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth it's not just that he was anointed look at the extent he was anointed so that whatever problem you had that grace was sufficient to solve it 
This is also the reason why even though he has anointed us, we continue to contend for deeper and greater levels of power. Why? Because as the problems of men continue to multiply, as the arsenals of darkness come up with all kinds of problems, we must have the sufficient engracing to solve every problem that we confront. The degree to which you can solve the problems of men is the degree to which you are a blessing. And if it is true that the Bible says, in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed, then we must continue to contend. Why do I have to pray and contend for greater levels of power when I am already seeing a measure? Because you see, there are some things that that level cannot do. The disciples came and asked Jesus and said, why couldn't we do this? And Jesus told them, he said, this kind goeth not but by prayer and fasting. The prayer and fasting does something to you that increases your capacity to respond to that situation. Are we together? Do you know, I look back at my life and I am surprised today at how certain things happened cheaply that were so difficult in time past. Even though I was anointed, even though I had the power of God, but I did not understand that the needs of men can only attend to the level of power. You've heard me say, every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it. It is possible to stay around struggling over a situation and to make God look powerless in the face of that situation. And someone will come with a higher level of grace and not even pray any prayer. Just bring that presence and you find that problem just melt just like that. With all humility, I look at some of the situations that God has used me to solve in the life of people today. Did you know that these were the same situations that years ago I would struggle over and wonder what, what is wrong? Is it that I'm not anointed? Is it that I'm not using the name of Jesus? The difference was growth and increase. This is why he can measure a thousand cubits even though you are the river. Just because you are the river does not mean that you have everything. Then he measured a thousand cubits. I sense that there are some of us who are here tonight. It is time for that thousand cubits to be measured for you because you see, the level God is taking you to. Can I tell you how God honors you? God honors you by exposing you to people who have greater levels of problems so that with the greater anointing, when you are able to solve their problems, then your honor is greater. Is someone learning tonight? Our world today does not ignore the reality of power at work in a man. Now it is the desperation for power is so strong that whether it is diabolic power, it is whatever power, let it just be power that works. People who want to benefit from it first before they verify and ask for forgiveness if necessary. But in the meantime, they don't have that time for any discussion. The moment they see anything that carries a semblance of power to provide results, they will run. So whilst we are giving all kinds of explanations in the church and saying, don't go to herbalists, don't go to all kinds of diabolic people, if we do not rise and contend for superior levels of power in this end time, we will be surprised how people will leave the church wall and immediately after our beautiful speaking, they have heard, but they want to see in some other place. Are we together? One more time, shout power. power. It takes power to dislodge the arsenals of darkness that plague our children, that plague our lives, that plague our destinies, all kinds of demonic things. I marvel at the skills that Satan has employed so far in, in bringing troubles to people's lives. As I interact with people and as I talk with people, sometimes I, I get so emotional, I cannot imagine how determined Satan is to keep people in a way that never brings glory to God. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit this conference is called encounter 
Encounter is more than a discussion. It's an experience. So when Jesus is ready to use a man, the way he prepares that man is to submit that man through seasons of dealings. Dealings that prune you, dealings that break you. Listen carefully. When God calls you, he does not empower you. Anointing is not what follows calls. When God calls you, he does not call you to ministry. He calls you to himself. And it is a season of uncomfortable dealing and breaking. But when you pass through that season with him, and he's ready to send you, he does not only send you with a message, he sends you with the backing of heaven. The backing of heaven. And when you stand and deliver that message in truth, that backing is ready to speak for you, to bring healings and to validate, number one, that Jesus is Lord. Number two, that you are truly sent. The anointing I've taught you that is, is a system of legitimization. That means if you claim you came from God with a message from God, then the people will want to hear and to see. And the assignment of that anointing is to prove to men, among other reasons, that you are not an illegitimate communicator of the counsel of God. So when you speak and God backs you, it's his signature upon your life and within that environment, I sent him. Are we together? Because some of you will leave this meeting tonight in a hurry and you will get back home and stand and say, okay, when Saul left his father's house, he could not do much. But now Saul has returned as a prophet. Saul is not just returning as one who is looking for the father's donkey. So the encounter is twofold. Number one, to experience the grace that is so lavishly given. But number two, that you not only experience it, you become a conduit of that grace. And then in addition to all of the other parts of the conference down till Sunday, you will now know that I'm a career of higher grace. And in case you are saying, Apostle, I've, I think I'm anointed. The question is how many supernatural solutions has that level of anointing brought to men? And he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my knees and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my loins and he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river overflowing and the bible says everywhere the river went to the fish that was dead came back to life by reason of that overflowing anointing I also sense that tonight there are many of you who there will be a restoration of graces and dimensions. Dimensions in the spirit you once walked in. But for some reason, that visionary experience you used to have just seems to have faded away. That, that intuitiveness, that level of favor, when you came into this city, it was like you were a magnet. But now it looks like everything is gone. Find hope. The power of God can restore. The power of God can restore. The power of God can restore. My goodness, I already sense such a strong anointing here already. The power of God can restore. Another powerful thing about the power of God before we pray is that the power of God can bring acceleration. This is very, this is a, a, a very powerful feature of the power of God. Acceleration. When it has to do with acceleration, the hand of God can come upon a man and can fast track your life. Listen, if two of us start a journey here, we are supposed to run at the same pace. Whoever goes ahead is the one who arrives first. But when the power of God is introduced to the life of a man, he can pick you from that level pick you on a flight here's what the bible says they that wait upon the lord they shall renew so this is the business of strength he's talking about are we together now he says they will mount up with wings he's still talking about strength 
The moment he begins to talk about wings, he's talking about speed. He's talking about time. They will mount up with wings as the eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Elijah ran on barefoot by the power of God and he overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Jezreel. Someone tonight as you are encountering this power, listen, it, it, it truly will walk like a dream as you will see God just push you to levels that you cannot even explain. You just know you are moving by the Spirit to dimensions that you cannot explain. Can I tell you this? Do not forbear with evil tonight. Do not forbear with anything that does not name the name of Christ. Do not give excuses. You are going to pray and you will insist that everything that is not consistent with the counsel of God as revealed from scripture, tonight is the night you will wave it a final goodbye. Can you rise up on your feet as we pray in one minute? It's going to be very, very fast so that we don't keep us uh, too long here. But then I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Please lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Pray. Pray over your ministry. Pray over your life. Pray over your destiny. Pray over your health. It's a new season by the Spirit of the Living God. Following online here in the auditorium, lift your voice and pray. Man of God, you are praying. It's a new season. hallelujah hallelujah now let me say this by the grace of God I want to assure you by the Spirit of the Living God that God has granted us by the privilege of his grace the wisdom and the word compliancy to dispense the gifts of the Spirit within the boundary of Scripture you need not fear regardless the extremities of the manifestations by the grace of God we are dealing here with a system that honors God and is consistent with the ways of God so every prophetic word every manifestation of the spirit and every administration of the power of God that will happen here I want you to trust that it will happen within the boundary of scripture find confidence and let your heart be open to receive I say this because I know that many of us may have had all kinds of experiences with the prophetic experiences with the miraculous and chances are that when the power of God is about to dispense be dispensed on this wise there can be that fear we can close our hearts in a bid to escape error in a bid to not get into anything that is extra biblical I want you to know that we love Jesus we fear him and he's cultured us and trained us well we came out of the experience the dealing of the spirit it's not just an anointing that came we were taught and we were sent so find confidence that the administration of the power of God as you will be experiencing here will be within the boundary of scripture aimed at revealing Jesus and bringing him glory are we together now you pray father let your power touch me let it rest upon my life let it change my life go ahead and pray go ahead and pray Hallelujah. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen to me. Listen to me. Uh, for the sake of space, when, if for any reason, there is a call to bring out those under the anointing, may I request that we just maintain the gaps at the edges so that we don't, the space here is limited so that we can honor the servants of God just here right now. And then we're going to be very, very fast on this. I'm going to be praying for the sick. But right now, I just saw light and without shouting, without doing anything, just bring all the people under the anointing now as the power of God begins to fall on people. Right now as I'm speaking, the power of God and the light of God just from the left to the right I just saw that light right now please bring them the power of God is going to begin to rest on people and this anointing that is coming on people is for restoration this is what I'm seeing in the spirit and there are people here who have been tied down there are people here who the Lord is bringing restoration please bring all of them out right now I stretch my hands and I decree and declare May that grace for restoration rest upon you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, right to the back. It's, it's, it's something you can't stand. We're talking about the power of God here. From the left to the right, the extreme of this auditorium. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just do well to help anyone under the anointing. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. May that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring them out. Who is grace? I'm hearing a name, grace. Who is grace? Is there anyone with that name? I presume that there may be lots of people. Grace. This person I'm talking about, you are wearing, I'm seeing like white and yellow. You are wearing a trouser. Is there somebody like that? You are wearing white and yellow. That's what I'm describing. Who is that? I can't see anybody. Oh, I see. The Lord is saying it's a new season for this lady. I don't know who she is but in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a woman five years five years you are yet to have the fruit of the womb you are yet to give birth five years you are on this road God is telling me you are here is there someone like that here just here we have to hurry up for time please if you find her let her come your life is about to change madam run and come to Jesus here at house on the rock he's giving you an encounter Atmosphere shift now, change be broken. Please let them come. Is there anyone with the name Nike? Nike. I'm hearing a name Nike. It's like the short form of a whole name. Nike. Is there someone with such a name? Madam, you are the one. I'm seeing the Lord is saying, number one, I don't know what it is. I hope you're not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? The Lord is shifting something in your body. This is what I'm seeing. Please lay your hand on your stomach. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is telling me that he's bringing you a miracle this is what i'm is this your husband sir can i pray for you ma in the name of jesus i pray for you i do not know you but by the power of the holy spirit i declare right now that this thing that does not name the name of christ let it leave you now in the name of jesus christ how long have you been trusting your all huh your grace please bring for me two people that shout loud right now under the anointing there is such I just saw light that fire this is a very loud shout I want to pray please I want you to believe even if it is 10 minutes I want you to know that something must rest upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ 
who is the son of the living God. I'm seeing this one, two, three, the third row, the third row here. There are some of you, the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this row. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. Those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I, I asked them to come out. Are they here? I want you to believe in Jesus. Don't worry. Just take your eyes away from whatever medical report. Believe in Jesus. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. We're going to make this very fast. I just saw that fire come on one of you. And in the name of Jesus, I declare, according to the time of life, please just place your hand on your stomach if you can. Why is she here? She was under the anointing there. Look at me, madam. You believe in Jesus? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I declare, this that I see on you, let it loose now by the power of the Holy Spirit, gone forever, never to return again. In the name of Jesus and for all of you who are here I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead according to the time of life return with miracle children house on the rock agree with them return with miracle children return with miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ please quickly return to your seats someone among the people who were ministering here to healer i just saw the power of god that's where the choir is there's one of you i know that maybe right now the lord is saying to that one person that you are stepping into a new season a new season by the power of the holy spirit a new season in the name of jesus christ a new season there are four men of God here. You are in ministry. I just saw a strong anointing resting upon you. Four people. I know that we may pray for other people, but I don't know where the four people are. By the Spirit of God, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, this grace for a new season in ministry. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. My friend, there's a gentleman on suit. This man, lift your hands. I just saw light coming on you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a new season for you. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who works here with FIRSC? That's Federal Inland. I just saw that name, FIRSC. You are wearing white. No, not this man. You are, it's like you are somewhere there. Is there some, please come. Your life is about to change. Please verify. Is there someone to, where do you, God bless you, sir. Where do you work, sir? FIRSC. Yes. How long have you been there? For 10 years now. 10 years. I want to, because I'm seeing you climb a ladder. It's a new season for you. Can I pray for you? Who works with Indians? I'm seeing a man and I'm seeing Indians. Is there someone like that? You work with it. Oh dear. There's... You work with Indians. Come. I want to pray for you, sir. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing like a scepter given to you. And the Lord is saying it's a new season. This thing will happen within the next six months. The way God will move you, it will surprise you. You believe what I'm saying? And now I, I don't mean to speak against any tribe, but what I'm hearing, you see, when God places, when God is determined to lift you, 
whether it's a donkey whether it's a cyrus he will use anyone and anything to lift you this is what is happening to you i pray for you by the spirit of the living god joining faith with the servants of god here i decree and declare according to the word of the lord let it be for you now in jesus name and for you my brother may the lord help you in jesus name i want to pray for someone i don't want you to be embarrassed i usually would not do this except that god asks me to do it you are a driver but i want to pray because you have been seeing yourself starting a business i want to pray for you your life is going to change this is what you do is like you drive that's what i'm seeing but you are about to start a business and the lord wants me to just pray and speak over your life if there's someone like that uh i'm looking at you but i'm seeing a man wearing blue complete blue this is what i'm seeing come don't be embarrassed this is the house of god there's nothing to be embarrassed about my friend please come can i tell you listen listen the house of god is a place of power god does not just bring successful people he makes successful people out of the house are we together now let me use this opportunity to decree already over someone that in the name of Jesus, whatever level you have seen now, by prophecy, I push you to the next level. Step into a new season. Step into a new season. Step into a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. What do you do, sir? You drive your own private vehicle? Your own private vehicle? Yeah. I do Uber. Okay, no. Uber. You two, same thing. And this man? Not my own, sir. But you're driving someone's own. Where are you from? I'm from Adamastu, sir. Mm. I want to pray for you. Look at me. I'm seeing the Lord use agriculture to lift you in a way that will surprise you. This man, I don't know you from anywhere, but God is connecting you. Agriculture is what I see God using to honor and bless you and to lift you. And I stretch my hands, my friend. May the power that makes this happen, let it rest upon you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, sirs, by the Spirit of the living God. I'm seeing, according to that vision, you starting a business. May the grace that makes things work, in the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. All of you, in the name of Jesus, within months, you will return with tearsome testimonies. In the marvelous name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, I want to pray. I believe in speed. There truly is a grace for speed. Destiny is a function of time. And whatever impedes you has taken a portion of your destiny. Is it all right if I minister that grace upon you? Truly, there is a grace for speed. Speed of accomplishment. I want to pray for you now every time I pray this here's what I want you to do please I want you to help those who will begin to run by the Spirit so that we don't have any injuries the power of God will rest on people and literally they would find themselves running by the Spirit the hand of God is resting upon them I don't know I don't have any personal relationship with this woman who ministered but madam, I don't know what it is that you have to do with United Kingdom because I'm, I, just, I just had a vision and I saw you in, in UK and I don't know what this is, maybe a program you are going or something God is doing for you and your husband. Is it alright if I just speak over you? In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever it is that is in UK that is for you, in the name of Jesus, let it look for you until it enters your hand by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree this and I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray that grace for speed. My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil ah. my head you are exalted like the horn of a unicorn i am anointed with fresh oil 
I stretch my hands right now. Everyone here who has suffered any kind of delay, there is a strong anointing coming on you right now. At the count of three, one, two, my God, help them. Three, take that grace. Take that grace. Speed all over the building. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed in your life. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. I release you by the prophetic. Run like Elijah. Overtake the chariots of Ahab. Down to Israel. Run like Elijah. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Supernatural speed over your life. Supernatural speed over your destiny. Many of you will stand to testify here that at this conference, the Lord shifted you to, to seasons and realms beyond your imagination. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name, and he says that name is above every other name. That at the mention of that name, every knee shall bow. I want to rebuke every wind that has been causing the storm to rage for you. There are spirits that are back of the tragedies in the lives of men. There are spirits that are back. Sir, can I pray for you? This man. I don't know who you are. But I just saw lights coming on you. And I want to pray for you because the Lord is taking you to a level beyond your imagination. I stretch my hands towards you, sir, and I declare. Let this anointing rest upon you. Let it be a new season for you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, and that everything that does not name the name of Christ in your life, let it give way right now. I want to pray for you. Listen to me. Paul was speaking to the church in Thessalonica. And he said, I desire to come to you again, even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. Satan can use manifestations of spirits, systems, and structures to block people from making progress. I want to declare against any spirit that is not of the Christ. And the moment I pray, Please, anyone who is manifesting here, you just help them so they don't injure themselves. Are we together now? My God. Hallelujah. 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 Every spirit that is not of the Christ, tormenting lives and destinies, tying down the glory of people, I want to pray for you. And at the count of three, I want you to shout that name that is above every other name. Exalted above every name, every throne, every dominion. And hear me at that shout. If God be God, then everything that has held you down, even if it is Jericho. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One. Two, three, shout Jesus. I command every spirit, every yoke of darkness, release those people now. In the name of Jesus, release destinies. Release destinies. Every spirit that is not of the Christ, go now.
please help them hey manaka toshka delekata grandege baruska delekata even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives according to scripture shall be delivered i'm still praying some of you are standing here for your families not just for yourself if there is any one of your family members under any kind of yoke of captivity because you are here at this conference i bring life to them now victory to them now freedom to them now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there's a gentleman here you work in access bank i just saw that logo access bank i want to pray for the sick now but the lord just gave me this word gentleman you work in access bank in fact it's like you came from the bank to this place you are wearing a you are wearing it uh, okay come but i'm seeing in my vision it's like blue it's a light blue but you come but this where, okay you work in access bank please come both of you all of you i'm seeing four people this is what i'm seeing one two three but i'm seeing a fourth person again access bank sir god bless you can i pray for you sirs listen let me tell you this every gift and every grace that god gives a man is not for that man is for the body of christ i can assure you that the days of superstar christianity is over we are here as vessels revealing Jesus, joining our hands as the body of Christ to exalt Jesus and show the world that he's alive. This is what this is all about. This is not about Joshua Selman. This is not about some man of God. Thank God for the gift. But I can tell you we are only ushers. We direct men to Jesus to help them know that he's alive. Are we together? If you ever find yourself being mightily and marvelously used by God, let me encourage you, do not be ashamed to let the nations know that your assignment is to project Jesus. It is only when he is lifted up that he draws men to himself. Are we blessed? I want to pray for you, sir. How long have you been in Access Bank? Will you believe what I'll tell you? Yes, sir that your time there is almost coming to an end yes sir but you've seen it yes it's not something i'm just saying yes you've seen it yes and that the lord is going to lift you yes you are in abuja here yes what is taking you to lagos because i'm seeing you go to lagos Hallelujah. in the name of jesus christ my brothers i agree with you standing on the grace of your pastor i decree and declare a strong anointing is coming on you my brother this man i prophesy to and in the name of Jesus, God is going to connect you to a very wealthy man. And that man will be used by God to change your life. May that grace rest on you. So let it be in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, sirs, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. May the Lord show you favor. May the Lord show you mercy. In the name of Jesus, you will go and prosper. You will go and experience increase. In the name of Jesus. I'm hearing the cry of a baby and is a baby boy and the Lord is telling me there is a family you've had a child but you are trusting God for a boy I don't know who that person is and you are in, you are in front where are you coming from madam is that true I, I, I hope you're not embarrassed can I pray for you you believe in miracles yes sir. madam you're a member of this church no sir now where, no matter where you are let, do me a favor when the boy comes come and stand here and testify sorry so sorry i hope it's not you my dear you're trusting god for this miracle shout jesus as loud as you can jesus that is it in the name of jesus christ Madam, I pray for you. Where is your husband? 
I want to pray for you. There is a marvelous financial miracle. This be even beyond this prayer that I'm praying that is coming for you and your husband. But I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. A strong anointing is coming upon you now. And in the name of Jesus, this grace, this grace is what will make this prophetic word come to pass. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. And for my sister here, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare, according to the word of the Lord and for the glory of the King, let this be for you. In Jesus' name. Did I pray for you, sir? I can't even remember why he's out. FIRS, I want to pray for you. Please stand up, sir. How long have you worked there? Ten years. Huh? Ten years. Exactly. Ten years. I'm seeing you have something to do with politics or a politician. What? Huh? What, do you, what else do you do? That's, what I do on the That's all you do. I want you, do not fight it. When that drive for politics comes, it's in your destiny. God has shown you this thing already. Even before you started working, I release that grace upon you now. May the grace that makes this happen. Listen, let me tell you this. The church, God has given the church and he has given vessels in the church certain graces called a kingmaker anointing. A kingmaker never sits on that throne himself, but he can enthrone and dethrone. The church is actively part of government. Are we together? Yes. Just close to the people sitting at the front here, I'm seeing the power of God come on one person. Um, just this, like this, right there, this row. I don't know why, but it's just a miracle. I'm going to pray for the sick right now, but I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that strong anointing rest upon you supernaturally. Let it shift you to a new season by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name in the name of Jesus Christ can I just take out five minutes to pray for the sick my sincere apologies I know that there are people who have come here trusting God for healing do you believe in healing miracles please lay your hands here's what I want you to do for me I've been given a bit of time but I will not abuse that that privilege so we'll still walk within the boundary of the time given but here's what I want you to do I'm going to pray a simple prayer in the name of Jesus. Remember my illustration about light and darkness? Because that light is about to come up right now. Are we together? And I'm going to pray for you in mass. The power of God is coming on one person with hepatitis now. The power of God. I'm going to pray for everyone, but that one person, you will be healed right now right at the back that's what i'm saying is there someone like that right at the back you are healed now of hepatitis right there in the name of jesus now i'm going to pray for you and as soon as i pray for you i want you to please check yourself we're not pretending this is no show this is the power of god i want you to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened let's have even if, it, even if it's just one or two testimonies of the marvelous hand of god and then i just speak over your life and we're done is that fine please lay your hands very quickly i want to pray for you i believe in miracles i truly believe in miracles blood conditions negative medical reports you are here working miracles i worship you i worship you you are here power of Jesus is moving across this place now now two things will happen and the healing power of Jesus will begin to touch people two people are going to start running out by the anointing please hold them wherever they are honestly I don't know why God does these things sometimes but they are just signs and wonders when that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move two people literally the power of God will come upon them 
That's one there. Now I can pray. How God does these things and why he does it, sometimes there are signs and wonders. There is one more person right now. The power of God, literally. The person will start running. Please just hold the person so he doesn't injure himself. And then I begin to... <laughs> It's very funny how these things work sometimes. Now I'm ready to pray. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please shout a believing amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke every spirit that is back of every infirmity, every disease. I command by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be gone now in the name of Jesus. And every sickness, every infirmity, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, be healed now. Blood conditions be healed now. My God, my God, my God, such a wave of glory. The anointing is just sweeping across the length and the breadth of this place. Healing is coming. I'm seeing the Lord heal lumps, lumps, like lumps, breast lumps. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Help them, please. Be healed, my God. Be healed right now. There's someone having severe pain around the lower back area, severe pain. In fact, I'm literally feeling that pain on my own back. I decree and declare right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Madam, the woman laying her hands on her head. I just saw oil. Keep that hand on your head. I saw oil coming on you and the Lord is saying, this infirmity goes now. I stretch my hands. Be healed now. Be healed now. The power of God is touching you right where you are. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus, headache, migraine, headache goes now. In the name of Jesus Christ, hear me. Anyone having any malignant growth or any kind of growth whatsoever, we command that growth to dissolve from your body now. Cancer, be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone God is healing you. You don't have to come out. But what we know as impotency, the Lord is healing someone of that condition right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone you have breathing problems. You really cannot breathe like, breathe normally. The power of God is touching you. A miracle is happening to you right now. Right now, right now. A miracle is happening. Please help her, help her, help her. Just hold her. She's coming out by the anointing so she doesn't fall. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Peptic ulcer. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, the Lord is showing me, I'm seeing someone there is, it looks like a boil, but it comes out in a particular part of your body. You keep treating it and treating it and it keeps coming again. The power of God is touching you right where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone, you came here with severe pain. I'm seeing pain around your shoulder here. You are at the back. The power of God has touched you. In the name of Jesus. Every other situation be healed right now. Be healed right now. In fact, there's someone you are having. Um, I don't know what this is called. It's, it's not, yes, your throat like tonsillitis. Severe pain. You almost cannot swallow. As soon as I'm done praying, you check yourself. That devil leaves your throat right now. Someone, your left eye, your left eye, seems you don't see very clearly with your left eye. The power of God is coming upon you now. And I declare that that blood vision is, is perfected now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Every blind eye be open whether partial or total blindness be healed now hear me if there is anyone here who cannot walk well 
whether you're on a crutch or you're on a wheelchair stand up now in the name of jesus any pain around your limbs in the name of jesus if you're on crutches i release the power of god be healed right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone who has struggled with pile please hold on this is a very severe case of pile very severe case of pile the power of god is coming on you you will know you are healed because the pain leaves you now the pain leaves you now in the name of jesus christ um i don't know what medical condition is it that prohibits eating starch but i'm seeing someone your a doctor was warning you to not eat starch because of a medical condition you have the power of god i don't know who that person is but the power of god is touching you right now now for sake of time whether or not i mention your case from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now my sister that lady waving her hands i'm seeing the power of god come on your stomach there is something that is going out right now i decree and declare i stretch my hands towards you let that devil leave you now in the name of jesus christ now very quickly some of you even whilst you were under the anointing something happened to you i want you to check yourself we have just two minutes i don't want to abuse the time we need to shame the devil here at house on the rock the refuge are we together wherever you are check yourself the moment you find out that you could do something you couldn't do please be very bold i like you to use either this place or that place celebrate them people are coming out if i can have just one or two of the pastors or just just someone so we take one or two testimonies check your vision check everything is this how you celebrate miracles my god is this how you celebrate miracles keep coming check yourself check yourself check yourself don't sit back and hold on those of you watching and following online miracles are also happening in your homes your offices whatever you are i want you to, you can call in you can send through whatever platform the emails that may be displayed let the house on the rock here the refuge know that jesus is touching you right where you are in the name of jesus yes sir just a few hold on oh, ju ju just a moment okay hello apostle yes sir uh, when you talked about the pile one of the reasons one of the, the the reasons why i'm in this service i'm not a member of the church but one of the reasons was because of this pile matter i even came with the drugs i've been taking where it. is the drug see, the, oh i see taking it it's inside it's inside my back what happened to you now it's gone maybe you said the pain then it's gone sir. We have another miracle here, yes, sir. Please. Very quickly, my God. Just, just, we're not going to stay here for too long. Go please ahead. just be patient. Yes, go ahead. Coming to church, I had a sore throat. I don't know, I was not breathing well, but now my throat. Oh, the lady that was running out. Check it now. Yes. Any pain? It's gone, sir. Completely gone. It never returns to you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Uh, praise the Lord. Um, I'm a medical doctor, and my job entails that I stand a lot in theaters, doing ward rounds. So I've been feeling this pain on my right toe and the feet. I keep telling myself that I'm going to see an orthopedic surgeon, but I never had the time to see one. Today, the pain becomes, became so intense during the ward round that... I had to take, I had to sit down and stop work, but of course, I had to stand up and continue work. So yes. during the prayer, I was standing and there was a lot of pain, but I kept standing. So what happens? And I just want to bless the name of the Lord. And right Check yourself. now, the pain is no longer Check. there. Any pain? Completely gone. Check yourself. Gone. It never returns to you again in Jesus' name. Is that, yes, please. Hold on. Yours, um, blood vision. Blood, so I vision. Can't, uh, blood vision like i can't how long? see this what's your name my dear happiness happiness yes sir how long um going to eight nine years now what couldn't you read when you came um the screen or oh, i can't really see your face clearly 
I was using glasses. You were using glasses? Yes. Where are the glasses? I can't find it when I fell down. I don't know whether somebody... And right now you can see? Yes, oh, come on. Yes. We have another miracle here, Apostle. Yes. I want to thank God because I was having blood visions. For you were having blood vision? Yes, and immediately the man of God prayed the blood vision seed. Secondly, I want to thank God because he manifested this power in my life in a different dimension today. The Lord. Yes, Praise the Lord. I've been having shoulder pain for several months now, and when the man of God prayed, the shoulder pain just left. Check yourself. Any pain, completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power Praise of the Holy the Spirit. Praise the Lord. My name is Philip. I actually came here with a severe neck, new problem, pain. I was supposed to see, go to Cedar Crest tomorrow. That's my appointment tomorrow. But while the prayer was going on, something hit me seriously. Oh my God. Check yourself. Any pain. Heal, sir. Supernatural healing in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I work in a hospital too, so I do a lot of standing. Are you seeing what God is doing to the medical people? So I, I've been having this pain from my neck, shoulder, and to this part of my body. But right now I can't feel it. Before now, I can't even bend down. And I've been doing physiotherapy for like three weeks now, but I don't feel any pain Completely anymore. bend down. Check yourself. Any pain. Any pain. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Sir. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Um, I was having this shoulder pain and ankle, so we are about to travel soon to check for trials like football so you're a footballer yes sir so last week friday i went to training then i got uncle then my shoulder but now after the prayers i'm feeling normal check yourself Hallelujah. may the lord prosper you in the name of jesus christ we have another maybe one or two here, more and then we're done yes please praise the lord while I was there, I felt a very sharp pain in my tummy, and the moment I fell under the anointing, that was all. That was the end. What happened to you? The pain what? ceased. The pain ceased. Oh, you had a pain before yeah. now? No, it was while I was there. there it was, was while the... you were there? Yes. It just the left. The moment I fell under the anointing, it disappeared. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed now, you are healed forever. Let's have the last one. I know there are many more. What will happen is you can you can testify uh, uh, during the other sessions. Yes. I've had ringing in my ears for over three years now, and then I can't hear anything anymore. And then the ringing has stopped. There's no ringing in my ear anymore. You believe what has? Yes. I had pain in my knee coming to church this evening, and I can't feel the pain Completely anymore. gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Well, let's just honor that sister. And, Praise and, the Lord. Yes. When you mentioned waist pain, that you can even feel the pain. I was there. I've had this pain since last week. If I sit down to stand up, will be an issue. I will fall back to the chair. But when you mentioned the issue, I've been taking myself because the pain is no longer there. Completely. I'm here to say Please stand on your feet. I'm no longer slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Before I speak over your life, you are in this place and haven't heard about Jesus and what he can do, haven't seen what he has done, you are here and you are saying, Apostle, I know that I need Jesus. I need to make it right with Jesus. Or you are here and you are saying, Apostle, I remember giving everything to Jesus, but for some reason, my life has gone haywire and I need restoration. I'm going to count one to five for sake of time you have just a minute i'd like you to leave your seat please um before we receive the final prophetic word wherever you are please leave your seat boldly don't be ashamed don't be afraid i'd like you to come and stand here very quickly i'll count one to five please run like there's fire on the mountain come and stand before jesus here one 
Run to Jesus, too. Don't allow anybody to leave you behind. Run, come to Jesus. He's giving you a new beginning. You don't have to kneel. Please stand for space. Please stand for space. Three. Someone is coming to Jesus here at this conference. He's giving you a new beginning. A new beginning. If you're still running, come. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Praise the, praise the name of the Lord. I salute every one of you. Thank you for the courage to come. Jesus said, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. May I request that you lift your right hand very high above your head. Please say this after me. Say it with faith, believing that Jesus is here. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word that you are all powerful. I believe in your power to save. I believe in your power to give me a new beginning. I confess Jesus as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace, even the gift of righteousness. And I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. Please keep those hands. Father, we thank you for these ones. You have brought them to yourself. May the grace that keeps, may that grace keep them. I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Now you would notice that you were given a card. Please look up. You were given a card by the officials. Here's what I want you to do. Um, as they direct you, you'll be told what to do. Okay, I thought you would feel it here. So please, all of you to my left, which is your right, I'd like you to go. Let's celebrate them as they go. You'll meet with a few counselors and you will be back to your seat. Hallelujah. Can I speak finally over your life? Please stand. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Let me encourage you to be actively involved in the remaining sessions. There's tomorrow morning, there's tomorrow evening, there's um, Saturday morning, and then the celebration service. Do well to stretch through. Remember, this is a week for you of spiritual emphasis. And do well to enjoy the worship, the word, connect with your heart opened, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. I decree and declare over your life in the name that is above all names, the level of grace and anointing that you require for the next season. May that grace rest on you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every closed door over your life and your destiny, I speak over that door and I decree and declare, let it be open now. I decree and declare that in this season, you encounter the ministry of destiny helpers. Men and women raised by God to hold your hand and lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I declare that for everything that has left you that should not have left you, wherever it is, I call it by prophecy back to your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak over everyone under the sound of my voice. You will finish this year well. Hear me? Everyone here present in this place, by this time next year, you will still be alive rejoicing here. The only difference is that you will be at least 10 times better than you are now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for everyone who is part of the House on the Rock family, especially the refuge here, all who have contributed to making this conference so far a success. In the name of Jesus, the Bible declares that a worker is worthy of his wages. I lend my voice with your pastor, the angel over this house, and I declare, be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. Keep loving Jesus, love him with all your heart and keep going from glory to glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Pastor Uche.
Dearly beloved, I hope you are blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.